It might not be obvious, but Unmanned Aerial Systems, or UAS, have been around for hundreds of years. If we define a UAS as an aircraft without an onboard human pilot and controlled remotely, then the first took flight at the Royal Palace in Versailles, France. This show balloon was flown with Monticelle the sheep aboard. While simple, these hot air balloons in 18th century France were the first true examples of unmanned aerial systems. Austrian forces floated 200 paper balloons that dropped explosives over Venice. Far from the battlefield, the artists and scientific community were experimenting with attaching cameras to balloons for the first aerial photos. They would also attach cameras and scientific equipment to kites. Meteorologists attach thermometers, barometers, and other instruments to study the weather and atmosphere. The military first experimented with aerial surveillance using kites during the Spanish-American War. Kites flew over 23,000 feet, nearly as high as a passenger jet. These experiments would eventually evolve into the modern UAS drones we recognize today. At the dawn of the 20th century, a German apothecary was inspired by these breakthroughs in aerial photography. He refitted his medicine carrying pigeons with time-delayed miniature cameras and set them to the skies. They returned with amazing aerial photographs of the city. Meanwhile, the military was further advancing UAS technology with the Kettering Bug. Rather than surveillance, the purpose of this biplane was to crash into its target like a rudimentary missile. It was launched with a dolly track system and flown with pneumatic and electrical controls. It was too inaccurate, so a plane was developed that could be controlled with radio waves. The British Fairy Queen aircraft flew so successfully it led to the first major fleet of UAS to be built, the Queen Bees. The radio plane company made thousands for the war effort with their RP-4 UAS. Outside of military innovation, the first radio-controlled model aircraft began to see public proliferation with the first public competition. Many of these early model RC aircraft inspired the next generation of innovators with a boom of model planes over the next couple of decades. After World War II, many of these unmanned aircraft transitioned into dirty and dangerous roles such as target practice or flying into radioactive airspaces. UAS weapons continued to develop throughout the 60s. It was a race for the fastest. The subsonic SNARK cruise missile was the stepping stone to the inertial guidance systems of future UAS. Like the supersonic Lockheed D-21, rotorcraft technology began to mature with the first Gyrodyne UAS. As technology matured in the 70s, more nations around the world began to participate, leading to many of the modern unmanned aerial systems used today. One of the most significant improvements in unmanned aircraft systems technology was the development of autonomous flight control systems. These systems allowed unmanned aircraft to fly and navigate on their own with gyroscopes and accelerometers. These sensors supplied the unmanned aircraft with critical information about their attitude, altitude, and speed, enabling them to maintain stable flight. The use of live video transmission provided real-time feedback to the operator. Advancements in miniaturization and engine technology made it possible to build smaller and lighter unmanned aircraft systems. More fuel efficiency allowed them to carry heavier payloads and fly longer distances. These advancements laid the foundation for the modern unmanned aircraft systems that we have today. After the Vietnam War ended, aviation innovation continued to soar. Aerovironment played a pivotal role in shaping the next chapter of solar-powered aviation history. The Solar Challenger was a solar-powered marvel that completed a 163-mile flight across the English Channel solely on the energy harnessed from the sun. As solar-powered aviation blazed a trail, other advancements were also on the horizon. With the advent of the GPS, UAS could navigate accurately and precisely over long distances without the need for ground-based navigation aids. Digital data links enabled drones to transmit and receive data in a more efficient and reliable manner than earlier analog systems. The development of microprocessors and onboard computers enabled unmanned systems to process data from sensors and make autonomous decisions. 
listening system will be a worldwide network of satellites transmitting precise jam-resistant navigational signals. It was only the last decade that the GPS became available for civilian use, and it was revolutionary. It was utilized by commercial planes companies, NASA, and public services. Precise remote sensing technology, such as cameras, sensors, and radar, allowed UAS to collect and transmit data in real time. Paired with GPS, it led to a breakthrough in emergency response operations. The Firebird could deliver real-time information on a wildfire's perimeter using GPS. In collaboration with NASA, AeroVironment continued to explore solar-powered aircraft under the ERAS program. They were designed to serve as atmospheric satellites that would perform upper atmosphere science missions, monitor climate change, and spectral imaging for agriculture. They were extremely light and fragile, built of composite materials like carbon fiber, Kevlar, styrofoam, and plastic. They could autonomously take off and remain airborne at 70,000 feet for months. Autonomous operations like these allowed UAS to be deployed in more challenging environments and perform more complex missions, setting the course for the rapid growth in the following decades. With the turn of the century, the development of electric propulsion systems offered a number of advantages over traditional internal combustion engines, including lower fuel consumption, quieter operation, and reduced emissions. The integration of multiple sensors allows for more comprehensive data collection and analysis. A single drone can perform a wide range of tasks, such as mapping, surveying, and reconnaissance. The development of sense and avoidance systems enabled aircraft to autonomously detect and avoid potential collisions. This was a critical development for the safe and reliable operation in shared airspace. Now this is a UAS you may recognize. The quadcopter is an aerial marvel known for its agile moves and stunning aerial footage. Quadcopters are not just for hobbyists. Hyperspectral and multispectral cameras analyze crops and inspect infrastructure. They transport packages on demand, perform search and rescue, put out wildfires, survey marine mammals, measure sea ice, and fly on Mars. Early artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms have turned these UAS into genius navigators. UAS have become autonomous, small, and more efficient, which has expanded their capabilities and applications in a variety of industries. Unmanned aerial systems have begun reshaping modern living from above. So the question is, what's next?